Here's a trick I worked out for using general MIDI files in Pro Tools. One of those stupid things, general MIDI sounds crap, but using MIDI files can be really useful to do cover versions of songs. So when a singer asks me, I can just throw in a MIDI file, work out the pitch, the tempo, and even the structure without allocating all the instruments. There's a bit of prep you need to do first. Activate the IAC bus in MIDI setup. Install Simple Synth from nohat.com and for a later stage, install Soundflower from cycling74.com. All well and good. Here's the IAC bus, turn it on, devices online, off you go. Want simple synths already installed? Select IAC bus one. Now you're ready. So we've got a blank track, and now we can drag in a MIDI file. If you've ever done this before, you know it'll end up with nothing allocated to anything. Jazz standards can be anything up to 16 separate channels. First thing to do is allocate the IAC bus to consecutive tracks using command alt control. Now you can see the tracks are allocated and they'll play. If you open up the program change, you should be able to see what instruments are allocated to which track. Though often drums is a bit of a confusing one because if it's not on channel 10, it won't play drums. So we find the drums, we turn on channel 10, we've got drums. All MIDI files can be different. Where the control information is, how you work it out, trial and error. Next step could be name a few of the tracks. I might want to hear them sounding a little bit better than GM sounds, so I can very quickly add a few virtual instruments. What do I want? I want a decent grand piano, I want some straightforward drums, so create a couple of orgs tracks. Put a mini grand on one. Put boom on the other. Boom's always my quick, easy, it'll play. Might not sound great, off we go. Now the other simple trick is to get both the general MIDI sound and the virtual instrument, hold control command and allocate it to a second instrument. So we've got a grand piano. And we've got boom working along with the others. First thing you're going to want to do with the general MIDI file is maybe turn off all the volume automation. That way we can get rid of the GM piano and we can play with a few of the other levels. Sometimes general MIDI files are written to have volume automation in them, as well as a lot of other automation. Now, I want to give this to a singer, get rid of the lead line, she's got a backing. I can speed it up. I can change the pitch. I can even restructure it very quickly using bars and beats. There we have general MIDI playing, less than two minutes. At this point, with instruments muted, I can export the file, give a singer just the MIDI. They can play it to their musicians, they can practice with it, they can check the pitch is right, they can check the tempo's right, they can advise me on changing structure, I can redo it in 10, 15 minutes. What you've got to remember is the general MIDI sounds exist outside of Pro Tools, so I can't just bounce it down. But in this case, I could bounce down drums and piano. I could, though, set Pro Tools up with an aggregate device using Cycling 74 Soundflower and then Root Simple Synth back into Pro Tools, multi-track, single stereo, whatever I fancy. 
Though, in doing this, you also have to be aware of the latency of the sounds going around the computer, so you might have to put slight delays on the virtual instruments you're using. Also, anybody using 002s or 003s will already be aware that to hear the internal computer sounds, they'll have to wire from the computer to their interface. Piece of cake.